Hello, in this video I want to show you my custom setup for my 3D, which includes hotkeys, interface changes, custom scripts and so on. By default in Moai you don't have any hotkeys and this is a problem because if you want to make a lot of changes in your design you will need hotkeys. My setup is inspired by Blender with the standard navigation for the camera which means Alt plus the mouse buttons. You can download the configuration file of Moai 3D in my store, it's completely free. But if you want to make some changes to the hotkeys or other stuff, I will explain it in this video. So first of all, let me show you a typical workflow for, uh, with hotkeys. Let's say you want to create a mechanical piece. So Alt 5, Circle, create a circle, right click to create another circle. Then select it, Shift S for Circular Array. Done. Select the bigger circle, B for bevel, uh, sorry for boolean, boolean with piece. And then let's say I will select this O for offset. Let me jump to this view, select this one, G for move, select the center. Then I select this one and L for loft, select all the curves, delete them. And then uh, let's say Ctrl B, bevel, done. Very fast and super easy. So let me delete this piece. Let's take a look at uh, the changes I made and then how to create custom hotkeys and also where to place the config file. So first of all, general is default, nothing new here. Shortcut keys. So these are all the shortcuts. If you want to take a look, they are inspired by Blender. And uh, for those that I, let's say I couldn't uh, set up identical to Blender, I usually went uh, for uh, the initial letter like Xtude E or you know, scale S and so on. Some of them like the array here, you have the array directional, which is the standard array shift A, A like array. But then I set up shift S for the circular and shift X for the array grid because they are close to each other. And for me, they are more uh, comfortable. You have the view. For the view, I only change the locked objects, use alternate color. I made it um, with dark red and then uh, rotate pan and zoom um, is uh, default. Grid, X axis to red, Y axis to green, because by default they are grayish or white, I don't remember, and you can't really see them uh, quite well. This default, default and default. Okay, so let's see how to change the hotkeys. I recommend going to the Moai documentation, command reference, scroll down, you will find shortcut keys. This explain how to set up the hotkeys with all the commands and uh, scripts. Let's start with the commands. Let's say you want to set up an uh, arc center. So you simply copy it. Go to Moai, add, press the shortcut key, so V key, and then paste the command, enter. Now, if you press the V key, you will get the command arc from center, which is this one. Okay, the first one. So V key, and there we go, arc from center. So this is how you set up the hotkeys, uh, nothing fancy. To delete it, you simply select this and delete. Now, let's say you want to set up a script. Same thing, you go here in the documentation and let's say you want to maximize the front view. Copy the script, Control C, go here, add a shortcut like uh, uh, V again. 
paste the script, close V. As you can see, it maximizes the front view. Okay, so that's how you set up shortcuts and uh, the scripts. If you want to modify something in the config file. I'll leave a link of the MOI documentation in the description below. If you are going to download my config file, you will need to place it in the MOI folder. The MOI folder is this one, C, like your local hard drive where you have installed MOI, in my case the C drive, users, your name, app data roaming MOI. You must enable the show hidden items otherwise you want to be able to navigate to the roaming folder then you will get uh, this config file if you open it it's just a file with all the hotkeys and settings you just need to paste it here in any case uh, uh, if you download this uh, my custom setup there is a pdf guide where i written everything last thing i will show you the hotkeys Alt plus number is for creating the various uh, curves. Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3. So Alt 1 lines, Alt 2 free form, Alt 5 circles, and so on and so forth. The various control plus letter. These are for the construct panel, mostly. You have the various uh, commands with only the letters. Extrude, inset loft, and then you have the shift plus letter. These are for the transform panel. And finally, the script. Now, for the scripts, the isolate command, which uh, let me create a solid. You want to isolate this cube. You press the slash on the namepad and it hides everything aside the cube. If you press the slash on the namepad again, it hides everything. If you press it again, so three times, it will uh, display every object again. And then you have A to select all the curves. I will create a rectangle here and a circle. I press the A key and you select all the curves. This is useful because uh, let's say I will extrude this. Then I press the A key, delete, bam. You don't have the curves anymore, only the solid. Alt A, loop selection. This is very useful. I want to select this loop here. So I select the first edge, second edge, hold down the Alt key and A key, and it will select the loop. Control E, invert the selection. So I select this, Control, Control I, sorry invert selection so i select the sphere Control i invert selection you have a slash which is not the slash on the namepad is the slash above the tab key and to the left of the number one this is used for enable the grid snap alt one which is the line so like now i don't have any grid snap I press the slash and now I have the grid snap. Slash again, freeform again. Okay, so this is useful for fast workflow. And I think we are almost done. The space key, which is the last script, this is used exactly like in Maya. You switch from one viewport to another. So I move my cursor onto the 3D view, press the space bar one time and I maximize this view. I press the space bar another time and I jump back to the, to the quad view. Let's say I want the front view, space bar, as you can see, very fast. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, leave a like to support the channel, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you in the next video.